Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to finally be sitting down and filming again and being able to talk about different products that I have in front of me that I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time. If you're wondering where I've been at for the last couple of months, go ahead and look at my very short life update video that I just posted before this one. Kind of helps like explain some of the things where some of the things where I've been and like what's been going on in my life. Um, but I'm not gonna do like a huge intro because I kind of just want to go ahead and get into the video as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about two different small businesses. We're going to be talking about Luna's Apothecary, and then we're also going to be talking about Bella Lovely's headbands. You guys have all seen her previous items that I've done a video on before. Um, I'll get back, to, I'll come back to her stuff in just a second, but I'm going to go ahead and focus just on the soaps for right now. So small disclaimer, I was looking at her website right now and some of the soaps that I have in front of me are no longer available and that's not to her dismay, that's definitely on me. I had purchased these almost three and a half months ago and I've been meaning to do this review on them for a while and I just haven't got around to it. Well, that's a lie. I had time to get around to it, but there was like some things going on that kind of like stopped me from doing it and um it's not her fault that some of these things went out um went out of stock so i am going to talk about some of the stuff that is no longer in stock just because i think there's like some key points to discuss about them and i'm also going to talk about the ones that still are in stock so you guys can like actually buy something that you guys see here so when i originally purchased from her i purchased three soaps from her because i wanted two to review and then i wanted one to use on my own before actually reviewing because i didn't want to promote something or talk about something that I didn't really know how the item t t like actually worked so I will go ahead and will go ahead and say that these soaps are actually really really nice not only me but my husband uses them also so I had I have these two soaps with me and I had it like I said I have a third one but I don't even have it with me because it's completely gone and that one was called Saved by the Bell I was going to show you guys a picture of it but I actually don't have she doesn't have it on her website anymore but um just so you guys know, this one is on her website, and this one is no longer on her website, but she has a lot of other different varieties. Um, I'll get to these in just a second. So let's talk about how the soaps felt when I actually used them. So I have a skin condition that I developed, like, immediately after I got pregnant. Um, you can still kind of see, like, the residue of it on my arm. I'll show you guys right now. I don't know if you guys can see this, like, ring on my arms right there so that's actually my arms completely healed up now this is just like i don't want i want to see like almost a scar that the um skin condition that i had left me i will say that changing my soap didn't make an impact like on how my skin reacted it didn't cure my skin condition that i have and i say skin condition because i literally don't know what it was i went to my um my doctor and they said like they weren't really sure either they said it could have just been like something that came up when i had gotten pregnant something that was like kind of dormant and once i got pregnant and my hormones kind of went out of whack that it kind of just emerged so we're still not really sure exactly what it was but um changing soaps definitely just definitely did help i found that once i got out of the shower like my skin specifically in that like certain area wasn't as irritated as it usually would have been with some of the other soaps I use. I'm just not getting into using beauty products that are sulfate free, kind of figuring out like what is like best for my body. So some of my previous body washes probably weren't the best for my skin, especially when I had a skin condition pop up. But thankfully, I was able to get my hands on her soaps and like it really did help a lot. I did have to use like actual medication on it to like subdue and like kind of like really get rid of it but my irritation level of my skin was dramatically reduced once I started using the soap. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual soaps that I have in front of me. I have one called Sunny Day. This one, I like, like I said, these two I haven't even opened or used because I wanted them to look fresh out of the package for the video. And this one specifically I didn't want to use because if you look at the little detail right here, honestly, that is so freaking cute. It's like a little snail. Like these little mushrooms i think it's so cute the ingredients in here are olive oil distilled water coconut oil palm oil sodium hydroxide cocoa butter shea butter castor oil fragrance oil and colloidal clay and mica 
I probably mispronounced both of the last two words. But um, it's so cute. I absolutely love the little detail. I think that's like the most adorable thing ever. And also we have bergamot. And this one is still currently up on her site. And I did like a little bit of research on it. And from what I understand, this one won first place award for the November Soap Challenge Club. So I really enjoy the scent of both of these. Um, I have to say that like, I think I like this one just like a little bit better. It's a little bit more like fruity and I'm about the fruity stuff. I have to say that some of them are unisex because the first one that I had used um, that was called Saved by the Bell. My husband and me both used it and it didn't smell very feminine or too masculine for either one of us. So, but I would say that both of these smell pretty feminine. So I realize I've been like talking a lot about this uh, small business without even talking about the person who owns a small business. So before I go ahead and go any farther, um, her name is Emily Drew. She's 27 years old. Um, she actually got into the whole business because her mom and grandma had always made soaps her whole life. But just like recently up until like a year and a half ago, she actually like kind of um adapted not adapted but like took on the business and like uh started making her own soaps and then actually started selling them so one of the major messages that she really wanted to convey was that her soaps are actual soaps and she actually told me like something that i never really realized is that if you go to like walmart or target and look at the body washes they're not soap it literally can't be categorized as soap because they don't have the necessary ingredients to be considered soap so that's why you always see body wash, body whatever, like body shower gel, stuff like that. They're not actually soap. So I thought that was like really interesting. The difference between like soap and body washes is that soap actually cleans your skin and then it creates a barrier towards having other like being getting dirty again. While body wash doesn't clean your skin, it just simply leaves a barrier so it doesn't get even more dirty. So if you're trying to actually get like yourself clean with like you know germs and stuff like that you're better off using a soap rather than using a body wash one of her main outlets for selling uh is through her website and also through her social media she uses both of these to really let her customers know about new products that she has uh what's in stock and stuff like that so i'm obviously going to go ahead and link down her ig and website um in the description box go ahead and give it a look um i'm sure there's going to be something there for everybody whether you have like sensitive whether you're sensitive to scents or certain specific scents she has like a pretty large variety um let me know in the comments if you guys end up any any ill if you guys end up buying any of her products i would love to see like what you guys think about them the scents that you guys got and all that good stuff so I'll give you guys one last look. The cute little soaps. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next small business. Okay, so you guys have heard me talk about Bella Lovelies in the past and like my past um, interactions with her, like how I met her, where I met her, and then just kind of like how she as a person like really resonated with me. Um, just like a little bit of backstory, I met her at the Cinco de Mayo, no, the Day of the Dead. Um, festival at old town in san diego and she had like a booth and her booth like there was like a lot of booths there that night and i didn't i didn't really like nothing really caught my eye except her booth just like the way it was set up and like she was kind of like out outside of her booth like interacting with people that kind of like drew me in so that's when i decided to go ahead and like look at some of her products and that's when i started talking to her so all of the headbands you're gonna see today are made by her by hand um she is the owner of her own business this is her only business that she has this is like her whole job her whole life her whole everything that she put into it and you can really see that with like all of her products that she has it's not like she really does put her everything into them so i'm gonna go ahead and show them all to you guys without me putting them on and then i'll go ahead and put them on and like show you guys how i personally style them so you guys can see them on and off okay so the first one is gonna be this really re by the way okay before i even start this material on this one i love because it's so soft it's super super soft it's a little polka dotted i would say it's like a, a like a burgundy with like a cute little bow and it's actually one of my favorite ones um that i ended up purchasing from her Okay, so this is going to be another one. This is also just like a pretty normal headband. And this material, 
along with this material are the same and this is again really really soft this all this has like a little braided detailing on the top that I actually really liked and you can feel like holding them like the construction of them is very nice and you'll also notice it like when I put them on like how they just kind of fit your head the way they're supposed to you don't really have to mess with them too much so this one is like one of my favorites this material is a little bit more structured than these while these are a little bit more soft and malleable this is a little bit stiffer and more um, structured I am in love with this headband I think it's the most adorable thing ever she makes like different sizes she makes them for adults and also kids and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but I'm actually having a baby girl so like, I cannot wait to also buy Mia a baby version of this one so we can match because I just love it so much this is so spring so summer I can't wait to go to the pool with my bathing suit and like like a white bathing suit and have this on with like a big bun or something I'm super excited about it Okay, so I always like to purchase like one of her more more interesting products. So this one is a turban. And this one, I've in my previous video that I have of her, um, I also tried on a turban, but it was different material. This one's a, definitely a lot more structured. I like the other ones, don't get me wrong, but you'll see why I like this one when I put it on. Like it's just, like I said, the material is just a little bit more structured for me has a knot bow detail on the very front it's kind of hard to see right now but i'll try it on and you guys can see it then okay so i wanted to go ahead and try on the turban one first just because it's honestly like so unique and i really love it i wanted to show you guys like how structured it is so like when it fits on your head like you don't feel like moving around or like going in places it shouldn't go i really like the knot detail on the top this is a piece you kind of have to have like a little bit of confidence to wear. It really not it's really not something you see like every single day when you go out. Um, she does say that when she does sell um, out, sorry, uh, she does say when she sells like when she's at like her flea market and stuff like that, and people see these in person. This is like a huge hit. A lot of people like purchasing these. So this is the little cheetah turban. So I backed up just a little bit just because you couldn't really see the top of my head when I was so close. But I have my hair up in a bun and I'm going to show the next, this one and the next two up in my hair in a bun like this because this is how I would personally wear them. I don't really like wearing headbands like this with my hair down. Just like my, not because of the products, but with any headbands, it looks funny on me. Like my head kind of like looks like an egg for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just on my own head. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started talking about this one. So this is obviously the big, huge coral bow one. I am in love with it. I think it looks so cute. I love the thick band. I love, love, love the thick band. I have like kind of really big ears and it covers my ears. So I like that. I don't know if this makes any sense, but to me, the bow is just like perfectly obnoxious or like it's not too, too big, but it's big enough to still make a statement. I really love it. I really love the size of it. I love how it looks with my hair up like this. I think it's so cute. Okay, so this is one of the headbands that had the softer material. This is like a way more casual, laid-back look. Um, I would wear this just like when if I'm trying to keep my hair out of my face. Or if I want to look a little bit more put together when I have my hair in a bun when I'm going to like Target or Walmart. I still love it. I think it's so cute. I love the braided detail on top. I think it fits with these like... I think the bands right here fit perfectly. These also cover my ears, which I highly appreciate. So the band on this one is obviously a lot thinner than the previous one, although I do prefer typically a, t a thicker band. Like having this one being thinner kind of just like makes it a little bit more casual and something I can wear just kind of like on every day. Like for instance, like this one. This one is like a whole statement. Like this one I have to actually put on like a whole outfit with. Like I couldn't just, I, I personally wouldn't just wear it just to wear it. Like I would want to, I would want this to be like, this statement of the whole outfit while well, something like this I wouldn't mind wearing just like Walmart or Target or something like that. It's something that I can see myself like kind of going out with like whether I'm going to like Disneyland or like the beach or something like that walking around somewhere putting this one on because it definitely can like some a headband like this can kind of like tie your whole look together when you're trying just to have like your hair up on a bun like how I have now and I wear my hair like this quite often so being able to put on something like a headband to kind of tie everything together to make it look a little like my outfit 
kind of like a little bit more put together i think it's like super helpful the structure on this one is very similar to the other one that i just previously had on like i said thinner band um there's nothing about this one that i dislike uh, i really do like the bow i think it's super cute so this is the last product that i purchased from her i will be making sure that i link all of her um, IG and website below in the description box. Uh, go ahead and give her a try, try out, even just buy one just to try it out. Once you buy one, you're, uh, you're like truly understand the quality of them and you want to buy more. Let me know if you guys end up purchasing them. Send me pictures if you guys do and let me see them on you and how you guys style them. I would love to see that. That's going to be it for today. Um, if you go ahead and wait for my next video, it's actually going to be on lashes from Diane Yepes going over her uh, small business and her lashes how she started and her message that she has so go ahead and stay tuned for that um hopefully it comes out within the next week hope you guys are having fun quarantine i hope everybody's not too bored and that hopefully all this kind of blows over within a couple more weeks um i'll see you guys next time i'll talk to you guys later